Hi guys and welcome to another video. I'm Victoria and today I'll be doing the bisexual tag. I have I've been looking for two days for a bisexual tag and I haven't found one, so I just made one up. And might have taken some questions from the gay tag, who apparently exists. But um first question, when did you know you were bi? I think I was I was very young when I first like got really confused because like women were like yes dudes were also like yes and I was very like what what is it what I don't understand you're supposed to choose one or the other um when the first Transformers movie came out and I fucking loved Shia LaBeouf he was like my dream man but Megan Fox, though, <laughs> Megan Fox. So I was just so confused in that movie because, like, I was down with getting down with Shia LaBeouf, but I was also really down with getting down with pre-plastic surgery Megan Fox. Like, you don't even know. And I was just kind of like, um, what? Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, at first. Of course I thought I was a lesbian, because like, women, you know, women were like, woo, yes, love them, a little bit more than I maybe should, but, <laughs> but then I realized I like both, and I was very confused, but then I found out that you can be so much, you don't even like, you don't even know, you can be so many potential things, and it's fucking great, 2015, fuck yes. Who was your sexual awakening? Mulan. Okay. I keep looking at the fucking microphone. It's right there. Ugh. Mulan. Let me tell you. She is my favorite fucking Disney princess. See? She fucking... She, she saves China. Okay? Like her freaking hobby, whatever you call it, Bay dies. And she's just fucking getting through it. Saving China and shit. No. Her and Pocahontas were my sexual awakening in, well, in the cartoon way, I guess, because, like, yeah, like, Mulan, her hair was just flawless, and she, she got legs for days, let me tell you that, and I just fucking loved her, and then Mulan, I just loved, like, everything about her, because, like, she didn't give a fuck if it was the male army, she was getting through that, she... Like, her fucking, ugh, empowering attitude towards life just fucking got to me. And I fell in love. But it's a cartoon character, so you can't really... It's very sad. And also Misty from Pokemon. <laughs> but then I also, like, had a crush on a lot of other... Like, I never really liked any of the Disney princess, except for... The guy that dies in Mulan, Mulan's Bay. Yeah, I'm not really sure if he stays dead. I'm pretty sure he does though, yeah. Who have you told? No one. I really haven't. This isn't my coming, uh, coming out video either. This is just, cause like, <sighs> I don't know man. I think my mom knows. I mean, I think, she, I don't know. I th I hope she knows. I think she's kind of taken a hint by now or something. I mean, if you haven't, if you if you know me very well at this point and you haven't, then I feel sorry for you. Um, I think my brother knows. Not my brother that I live with, kind of knows. My friends know. My two best friends know. My some of my previous friends know. You guys know. Because I've mentioned it before. I think that's everyone that knows. Are you taken? Nope. Absolutely not. I'm here. I'm not taken. No. I am. I'm just shit. I'm just. I just. Look at me. I'm making a fucking video on a Saturday night. Alone. Because it's cool. I don't really need anyone. I'm good. I have my best friends. And I've got fucking YouTube and Tumblr. <laughs> I love Tumblr though. Oh my god. And I'm good. 
how did you come out? Ugh. How did you come out? I haven't, and I'm not planning to. This is not a coming out video. This is just a bisexual tag. Because straight people don't come out, and I feel no emotional need to come out. Because I don't feel like I'm carrying it around like a burden. You know, I'm just fucking living for it. And I don't feel like I have to come out to anyone because I don't feel like I'm carrying it as a burden. And I come from a country where luckily enough you can be really gay and, you know, it's cool. Eyebrow wingling. Wingling. <laughs> Eyebrow wingling, guys. And that is the bisexual tag. Woohoo. Whoop whoop. I have just been going crazy with, you know you can like, okay, time for some DIY. You know you can use eyeliner on your arm and then if you want it to stick, you just put some fucking uh, dry shampoo over it or fucking baby powder. I call it baby powder. I don't really know what it's called, baby powder and then hairspray. It's like the way to make it stick and last longer and I've just been doodling away with an old eyeliner that I can't use in my eyes anymore because it doesn't work as well as it used to. Wow, you can really see my scar now. That's fucking great. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday and I tag the person that I tag in. I t I'm gonna tag someone. Not in the video. And they're gonna know that they're tagged though because I don't want to publicly tag them. So I'm gonna do that. And y'all have a wonderful weekend. I'm not going to have a wonderful weekend, because I have nothing to do. And all my friends are dead, because I killed them. Obviously kidding. Um, yeah. And if this is you discovering that I'm bisexual, and you hate it, suck a dick. Literally, I mean, if you want to suck a dick, go ahead, I won't judge you. But if you know, and this is obviously obvious to you, good. Spread the word. And if you want to do this tag, do this tag. And be fabulous. And if you don't want to be fabulous, that's cool too. And you can of course change the tag to just the gay tag, the lesbian tag, the pansexual tag, the asexual tag. Change the questions however you want. Alter them to fit your sexuality and be cool with that. I'm just gonna chill, okay? Bye, bitches.